all of the files that we have on our computers are somehow associated with different programs based on a very simple uh, nomenclature added at the end of every file called a file extension. Now, I, I want you to tell me what kind of file do you think this particular file happens to be? Now the most common guess is since the last three letters they are JPG would be it's some sort of graphic, a picture, probably a picture of this person. Uh, the problem is the file extension on most computers, especially Windows computers, um, is automatically hidden. So this file, if you could reveal the hidden file extension, is .vbs, which is not a photograph. It's a Visual Basic script. And this particular file was a virus, and if you double-clicked it to try to open it, you infected yourself with a virus. This all exists because the default settings in Windows are that file extensions are turned off. Apparently someone at Microsoft thought that those three letters would confuse too many people uh, and as a result they just turned them off, which I think is absolutely silly. Here's why it's silly. I have created four different uh, picture files. I've named each one of them Old Mean. I can assure you that each one has a different file extension. All of the file extensions are some kind of pictures. But if I said, point out the one of these that's a JPEG, point out the one that's uh, a GIF, you couldn't based on the fact that the file extensions are hidden. It turns out you can very easily in Windows turn on file extensions. If you go to the Tools menu, now if that little menu isn't there, hit the Alt key once. It'll bring up the the uh, menus, click on Tools, click on Folder Options, and this will pull up the Folder Options window. Click on the View tab. Once you do that, you will see that there is a checkbox in front of an option that says Hide Extensions for Known File Types. So by default, Windows has this checked, and if Windows knows what kind of file it is, it hides, hides the file extension. You want to uncheck that box, and when you do that, you'll notice that the four files I have here all have different file extensions. I have broken down the most common file extensions that you need to know into these different categories and uh, I've created a document with these most common uh, file extensions so that you can review them here.